Well, hello. It's the middle of the night again. This is MB08. It's Friday the 28th of September 2018. Just gone 01.30 hours. British summer time. As you can see, it's clear. It's mild. It's calm. This is a hybrid Beano. There's Gloucester and there's Hereford. And there might be some surprise appearances, or not as the case may be. Gloucester today, the Gloucester Brewery are having an Oktoberfest, and tomorrow Hereford, Hereford Beer House. Works for me. Anyway, first stop, Michael Wood Services on the M5, 24 hour Starbucks. So, this is Michael Wood North. 149.9 I paid 125.9 yesterday same piece Pont Creed ok so over there that's the actual pump and break I suppose um, slight error I seem to be on Dorchester planning time so I'm an hour ahead of schedule I might have two cups of coffee you never know that's it not only am I an hour early, but it's not before I was Starbucks. Okay. I'm not just going to do it for a while. It's not going to be open in time. I'm going to do it Hello, new car park. I was running out of car park, free car park time, Michael Wood. This is the Gloucester services. Um, they're shut. <laughs> oh god. Um, there is a fuel station which is open. They do coffee if I wanted it, but uh, this opens at six o'clock. I don't know. Anyway, um, bit of a disaster. However, the No Agenda Show. Hashtag ITM in the morning at noagendashow.com. I love my JCD. Okay, um, five past seven in the morning. Wind's dropped, luckily. It was quite chilly. Um, there's a brew house and kitchen. And um, just up by there, turn right, you've got Tank, which is part of the Gloucester Brewery. Craft beers and next door spoons. Uh, the car park is in there. There's a Premier Inn right in the middle of it as well. That I need to come here. This is the way forward. Absolutely. Anyway, I ping Big Tone. He loves pictures of pubs. I have no idea. Um, so there's the car park. And here's Costa. We have bacon rolls. And we're off. <laughs> it's a bit of a, it's a, it's an issue here. Um, the bar doesn't open until 10 o'clock. You know, I'm from Philly. Anyway, um, this is new. This is American. This is from a company called Crazy Mountain, who I had to look up. Um, it's an amber ale, 5.2% alcohol by volume. It's more brown than amber, I would say. Okay. Oh, a bit of carpet for Mr. Manning. Smells nice, nice and nicely hoppy. Quite malty. A little bit fruity. There's, there's a hint of Elvis use in you. Three plus and a bit. Thank you. So it's blustery and I've lost Toby, but you know. Uh, yeah. I think. No idea. It's around here somewhere. October Fest. October Fest. Official October Fest. Be arranged craft beers, Bavarian style food, live music. Uh, there. I have no idea. It's down there somewhere. 
Um, but it's really rather nice. Um, there's more seats outside, and it's just a bit blowy. And Hacker for sure. October first, five point eight percent alcohol by volume. Particularly mild, sparkling, long stored, refreshing, easily drinkable. Pause, crystal clear. Yep, it does. Pale gold on the white head, sparse lacing. I'd say tons of. Oh no, that's just the head. And a slightly sweet aroma. 5.8% alcohol by volume. Ooh! Get down. Oh! Huge malty aroma. Yes. Yes, indeed. Um, yeah, it is slightly semi-sweet. Uh, mild, it's deep plus plus. Uh, real concrete, Mr. Manning. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Mr. Manning, uh, real concrete flooring. Anyway, um, it's a bit blowy out here, actually. Um, we're drinking Kleiner. Oktoberfest, which is, I think it's owned by Heineken, so um, I'm going to get tweets from Gaza. He's not going to be happy for a start. 6% alcohol by volume, a strong amber lager, generously hot, with a crisp, refreshing taste. I'm going to have to stick my, because uh, it'll blow away. Real wood, which is good for the white balance. Oh, it smells lovely and malty. Oh, that's hoppy. Hot and sharp. Yeah. I don't think it's as good as the um, Hacker for sure. Uh, so, if I can hold the camera straight, I'm going to say B plus in a bit. So, 3.25 on tap. Um, this is from Watkin, Arthur Daly. It's a strawberry cider and it's a bit of a grower to be honest. This is a, like a present thing. It says sweet, fruity, and refreshing. Boring, beautiful. Oh gosh. Um, I'm going to give this B plus in a bit because it's definitely a grower and it's rather complex. And I hope that doesn't blow. Oh, there it goes. B plus in a bit. Mr. Manning, the sun's out on your concrete. Oh, look, Mr. Manning, plastic furniture. You'll love this. Anyway. I don't know, I'll be honest, I've never tasted a beer before that's really banana-ish. And this is hugely banana-ish. Three blind vice. So this is a special from the Gloucester Brewery. And um, this is a vice beer, clove, banana and vanilla. I can't taste the vanilla, I've got to be honest. But the bananas, it's huge. Oh, look at that block of wood. Not much of an aroma. But huge, huge, huge banana taste. I'm going to say B plus in a bit. It is still a bit blowy though. But nice guys. Okay, um, this is number something or other. I can't remember what it is. Uh, we're drinking a Dunto, which is a dark beer. Uh, Munchena Dunto, calling that. Uh, Gaza, uh, wrong by Hamilton. 5% alcohol by volume. Um, I don't know if you can hear the guy in there, but he only has one arm, he's great. And this is dark, malty, and I don't know what's going on over there. That's banana rich as well. This is banana central today. Who plus in a bit? We have wood. We also have... Dortmund Union beer, which is German for four, so it's four percent alcohol by volume, which is not really a German sort of strength. Oh wow! That's really hot. 
Pepsi. No hops. Well, no hoppy taste at all, but uh, not so sweet. It's just malty. Oh yeah. Be plus in a bit.